Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I just want to show you how powerful the currency meter is in trading uh, the currency futures. In this example, you can see that the Canadian, the Aussie, and the Euro are both at the extreme levels down here. And the Canadian is actually the strongest of all of them, uh, followed by the British pound. Now, the Canadian is not one that I normally trade, but using the currency meter, I can tell that the Canadian is the market that is moving, which is also the market I want to trade. So once I start seeing uh, the change in direction on the higher time frame, you can then zero in to the three minute look for your low risk entry you want to make sure that the three minute is also in confirmation of the higher time frame and look for a low risk entry point put your clipper on the chart and as you can see you've already got clipper one out of this you would have your stop to break even plus the cost of the trade which is normally two ticks but again the currency meter is the one that identified this trade um, as most of you know, I predominantly trade the euro, but this really highlighted the currency to be trading this morning uh, right now is actually the Canadian. Now, let's go and look at the British pound, which is the light blue one. You can see that it actually started turning upwards here. And let me take this previous uh, horizontal line off. At the same time, you also get a low risk entry point. Your RSI is blue and the ADX is starting to increase. Again, everything you need for a, a great trade, you have already taken uh, two clippers out of that. If this were to come back and touch clipper one, you could exit. But knowing that you just had divergence on the RSI and the ADX, remember that divergence has to be on both of the indicators. I would actually be out at the close of this bar, which was 56.82, giving you about seven ticks of extra profit. 